My name is Tommy Thorvaldsen. I'm from Norway and uh, today is uh, eight days to Mr. Olympia. It's the 11th of October and we're gonna shoot back today and I'm still gonna try to lift some heavy weights because I like to keep the density there. But first of all, I would like to thank Joe Wader, Reader Publication, for bringing me to America and help me so I can live here and move to uh, Venice, California one month ago. And this has been my dream for over 12 years since I started to train and I've been moving 14 times. I've been living in Norway, where I'm from, and uh, moved to Birmingham, England. I worked two years for Dorian Yates in Birmingham in his gym, temple gym. And I guess I learned a lot from him. And I've been living in Belgium and also in Holland. And now I'm here, so I'm very, very happy. And I also would like to thank Wayne Miller for helping me out now. He always takes care of me in the shows, booking the tickets and everything. So I can do what I like and live the lifestyle. Live the lifestyle of a real bodybuilder. Here in the Mecca, Goldstream. Then we go for two heavy sets. Get a little bit easier. You have to listen to your body, you know. It's one week out, so. But I need some heavy weight also. Uh, my training is based on reader principles. I go heavy, and uh, I like to change my training. What I mean by changing my training, I use four sets. I use drop set. I use high intensity. And uh, I do supersets sometimes. And I do that to shock my body into growth. But my basic training, what is basic, is usually one to uh, three warm-up sets on the first exercise. And then uh, I do two heavy sets. The following exercises I do is usually one warm-up, two heavy. But when it comes to arm, I've analyzed all the best bodybuilders who have good arms. Arms is not so much about heavy, heavy training. You need some heavy weight to get them big, but you also need to feel them. And after I start listening to that, to not train my ego on my arms with too much weight, my arms start growing. So I listen to Arnold and Lee Priest, they wear good arms, and Ronnie Coleman. And I follow those guys who have the best arms in the world. I follow those training principles. They do.
One. No less. Traveling 14 times to get to Goldstream. Norway, England, Belgium, and Holland. Never been more motivated. Yeah, for me now, the last week is very important. Right now is one week and one day to the show, and I still have 2,000, 3,000 milligram sodium in my food. So I have a sweetener. And I also have a little bit bread, low carb bread. And I also eat uh, frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt I have straight after training with some of the Rido supplements. The frozen yogurt I use for the sugar. So I enjoy it so much and I'm still in great shape. The only thing I do now, I hold water. But I know why. It's because those things like sweetener, a little bit extra salt. When I cut those things out, I will flush the water out. So next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will go low carb, about 200 gram. And for Thursday and Friday, I will carb up. So then uh, when going low in the beginning of the week, I flush out some water. And when I carb up, all the water between the muscle and the skin will go into my muscle. So I look really full. And I look forward to see the results on Mr. Olympia. Definitely be back this year at the Ironman, but first I'm gonna put on some size first, so look out. I'm gonna do a little bit stricter now. This machine is very good. Thickness in the back. Stretch the muscle so it's room for more, you know. <laughs>
when I was training that I was sweating. Yeah. And that's water it comes out. And I guess, of course, I can lose a little bit more fat also to get that extra thin, paper thin look. So the skin is really thin. I have still one more week. So by fine tuning that last week, I will be ready. You probably see that I'm sweating and that's why I'm holding water and uh, I do it for a reason because I have about 2,000-3,000 milligrams of sodium salt in my diet and I also eat uh, sugar but straight after training and uh, I know what I'm doing with my nutrition I have 20 competitions behind me and I like to hold a little bit of water now, so I can train heavy. And I will probably drop about 10 pounds, uh, 5 pounds, next week when I cut out the sweetener. And I also cut out the salt in the end and cut them on the water. But that's why I can train heavy. Right now I'm uh, 270 pounds, my height is 5'10", and uh, my contest weight will be on stage I guess 260, 65. Uh, what I learned from bodybuilding is how you look. Don't be too obsessed by the weight and uh, don't focus too much on yourself. Focus a little bit what's happening around you too so you can enjoy your life. skin is like this, then you are in shape. And I'm still not there. So hopefully next week I'll be a little bit drier. I always listen to the champ, champs, you know. I know what they do. Okay, I'll see you at Mr. Olympia.